You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenya and today's video is packed with very budget-friendly home improvement DIY projects as well as cleaning and organizing my bedroom. We will be bringing this bedroom to the next level today. So I'll be bringing in a new dresser but first I'd have to upgrade and paint it. Then I'll paint, reorganize and redecorate my shelves as well as paint my nightstand. We're gonna try a bunch of curtains for this bedroom. In fact, we're gonna make one from scratch from a drop cloth to be exact and see how that turns out. I'll also put a new rug on my carpet and all in all we will give this bedroom a good refreshing and bring it from being messy, gray, a little too dark and just boring to neat, fresh, light but at the same time calm and relaxing just like a bedroom is supposed to be. So I'm gonna start with a B4 image of this bedroom and I want to say that if you are bored with your space I'm hoping to throw some good energy at you today along with some ideas and inspiration to help you upgrade your space as well. This corner is where we are going to be putting our new dresser in. I used to have a dresser here but I gave it to my little daughter and now I'm gonna be replacing it with something that I like. I got this wooden dresser for $40 from Facebook Market and I'll be painting it with my favorite ivory chalk paint. First I'm washing it with a solution of a dishwashing soap and some water in a spray bottle and then I'm gonna take off the hardware. It looks to me that I'll be okay by putting some chalk paint on this dresser without any sanding. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it with two coats of paint. So you guys, my name is Jenya and I'd love to welcome you to my channel if you are new. I have been married to my American husband for about three years now and we have two little kids together. I have a one-year-old boy, Max, and a two-year-old girl, Anya. And we also have a cat and her name is Katya. On this channel, you'll find a lot of real-life cleaning, organizing, and decluttering videos, as well as some DIYs, as you can see, and an occasional room makeover. Everything is always on the budget. I just started having interest in painting furniture a few months ago, so I am pretty new to this process, but I'm learning as I go. So as I'm done painting that dresser, I'm just gonna make sure that that hardware is nice and clean. I'm gonna boil it for three minutes in some plain white vinegar. It might not be the prettiest, but I decided to keep it and paint it instead of buying new hardware. So I'm gonna spray paint it, let it dry, and in the meanwhile, I'm gonna distress our dresser. So I'm gonna start with a wet washcloth, and then I'm gonna switch to a sanding block, but it really doesn't matter which one to use. I mix and match depending on what I feel like. I'm discovering that I very much enjoy a distressed farmhouse look on a piece of furniture, so I've been doing that. I think this is my third piece of furniture that I've been trying that on. So I'm just lightly scratching the paint off of corners and edges because that's where it would naturally come off with age. And like I said, I hope this video will bring you plenty of motivation and inspiration and give you some good starting energy to do whatever it is that you need to do in your home. And if you are liking this video so far, then please press the thumbs up button. It's just gonna let me know that you are enjoying it and it's a huge compliment to me. Now that I'm done distressing it, I'm just gonna wipe the dust off the furniture and then cover it with wax to protect it. So tired of hearing all your stories I hope you like the way this looks. I personally love this kind of look. It took me about two days from start to finish and it was just extremely easy. Now I have a dresser and it's time to take it to the bedroom and we'll use our husband for that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry my husband for that. <laughs> this is the corner that needs to be upgraded and updated. So we're going to replace this beautiful plastic dresser with our new wooden one. I think the new wooden one might look a little bit better.
So I have been doing some furniture rearrangements as well as makeovers lately. So every time I need something up or downstairs, I just ask my husband and then I just turn around and go about my business. And I never really pay much attention to how that furniture magically appears where it needs to be afterwards. So today I just decided to actually see and film how he brings the furniture whenever I need him to. And you know, it does include some uh, work. So thank you, husband. Okay, we desperately need to clean this bedroom. I'm just showing you what we are dealing with. It's a disaster and we are gonna start bringing it, like I said, to the next level. So we'll clean it really well and then we're gonna continue with our updates, things like painting, trying out new curtains, updating, upgrading, redecorating and all this fun stuff. This is my husband's work and play area, so I don't really mess with it too much. I just wipe up the dust because I can't stand some things like the dust collects really fast in this corner, especially on black furniture. One too many should go home to my bed, sleep it up. But I can't stop believing you're the one I'm gonna be with tonight. So I will do anything, I will do anything to make you mine. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. It might look like all those bottles on the floor are empty, but actually some of them are full and I normally keep full bottles of water in the bottom drawer for easy access and so that I don't have to run up and down every day to get some water for the night. But then my one-year-old Max loves coming to the nightstand and just messing it up completely. He throws away the water, but his favorite thing is to mess up my clock. I don't even know if there is a point for me to keep that clock anymore because the time is always different, the date is always changed, and he sets up the alarm clock for 12 o'clock. There is an automatic button. If you press it, it rings at 12 o'clock. And I don't always check the alarm if he set it up or not before I go to bed. So a lot of times we wake up at 12 o'clock from the alarm ringing. Actually, both of them, two alarms. So these little white beautiful drawers I got given on my birthday, I actually requested them from my mother-in-law and now I'm not sure where to hang them. I'm in love with them but I don't know if I have to keep them all together or I could separate them 
and put one or two in one room and the other one in another. I don't know. If you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments. Because they're so small, they're really great for keeping small and sharp things away from the kids somewhere up on the wall. And I wanted to use my bathroom for that, but I don't know if I have enough space on the walls in the bathroom. So if you have any ideas, please throw them at me. Where would you put this beauty? Somewhere in your house. I don't know. Just, you know, leave me a comment. So we just put this dresser in but yes my daughter already got her hands on it I don't even know how she got that chalk she is not supposed to have access to it but anyway I'm really glad that this chalk comes off easily and I'm very happy that this dresser has a distressed look to it because if it was completely snowflake white it wouldn't have stayed white for a long time now I'm bringing in my new rug I had to get it under the bed a little bit so I had to wait for my husband to get home from work and fix that I got this rug from Costco a few months ago and actually I wanted to just protect the new carpet that we put in a few months ago because we are planning to sell this house and that area before the bathroom happens to be a very busy area. Now I have just a couple of towels and sheets to fold and then we're gonna do a little bit of organizing.
looking for faith, looking for love in every direction. I'm looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. This is my baby girl Katya on the edge of the stable. She always tries to help me clean. I am a huge animal lover. I could talk about animals for hours. We used to have a dog as well and she lived a happy life. I'd love to know in the comments what kind of pets you have, if you have any, and if they help you clean your house as well. <laughs> Either way, our bedroom is now clean and while it's nice and clean, it's just a little bit too dark and kind of a little bit depressing to me. I'm just tired of this gray look and I'm gonna lighten this up today. Since we painted the dresser ivory color, I'm gonna put the same color, which is my ivory chalk paint, onto the shelves as well as my nightstand and let's see how that turns out. I honestly don't even know how I ended up with the main color gray theme in this bedroom. These shelves as well as the nightstand used to be a completely different color and I decided to paint them gray since this was my very first experiment and painting project ever. So that was a year ago and shortly afterwards I was in the hospital having my baby with my husband and his parents were in town waiting for us to come back with a baby and they were in our house and they have decided to just be nice and update our curtains as well as the blanket and since the main theme seemed to be kind of gray they picked the same color for those items as well. So that's how we ended up with gray color bedroom even though I'm not really a big fan of this color as it turns out. In fact, I really like this uh, ivory chalk paint color that is really easy to use. You just put it on, no preparation required in most cases, and you just wax it, seal it, and it's ready to go. Nothing ever really goes wrong with this color, at least for me, I love it. Even though this nightstand looks good without being distressed, I'm gonna distress it just a little bit to match the dresser we have in our bedroom. Also, as I said earlier, nothing is gonna stay exactly white if I just paint it white. You saw what happened to the dresser a few minutes ago, so I'm just gonna distress it because we have two little babies, that's why. And this is why I love painting so much, is because I can change the style anytime I want to. This took me about a few hours to paint two coats on that, uh, on that nightstand. And if I want to change it to a completely white color tomorrow, I can do that with no problem. I love painting and I can change my mind at any time. Two months later, if I wanted a different color, I might as well do that. I took these shots at different times of the day to see the different lighting. I will replace that fake plant on top with a real one later. Either way, it looks absolutely perfect to me. I love this side of the room now. Now it's time to switch to a very interesting project. We'll be making some curtains from a drop cloth. And we'll be dyeing that drop cloth a different color as well. This is a pretty popular project to make curtains from drop cloths, however, I only found one e video on YouTube where she was actually dyeing them a different color, so we're gonna repeat that. And she was adding some beads to it to make it look more of a boho style, we'll be doing that as well. So when it comes to coloring, I just picked whatever my, my local Walmart had. I didn't have a particular recipe in mind, it was just an experiment. However, if you do, Red website offers you all of the color recipes telling you what bottles to mix together to get your particular color. By the way, the drop cloth, each one is 6 by 9 feet and I got two for our huge window in the bedroom for $10 each. Now it's time to put some beads together to, that we will be hanging on our curtains. So I'm just gonna take a piece of cardboard about the size of my palm and wrap it around 40 times. 
it's a bit hard for me to explain this part of the video with my English but we're gonna cut the bottom here and then put beads through the top string of this little pretty thing if that makes sense and you'll see what we are gonna get also we're making this from this yarn from Walmart I think I paid about three dollars for this the acrylic one is obviously less expensive than the cotton one so if you're doing it for a craft project I would suggest just pick the acrylic one if you want to save a couple of dollars I had to get some wooden beads from Amazon and the package included three different sizes so I put some of each size on the top string so this whole curtain project including absolutely everything cost me just a little under $40 okay so we're gonna spread it evenly on our curtains and glue it to them in the meanwhile our curtains are now done washed and dried I got these rings from Amazon, 40 of them for I think about $8, these are great. So when it comes to this color, I actually love this color, I thought that I needed some pop of color in this bedroom and I decided to just go with something orange slash a little bit of red. So in the end I actually was not happy with the way it made my bedroom look. Even though the curtains turned out just absolutely gorgeous, I loved the project, there was nothing wrong with the project, however, when it came to my bedroom, it just didn't look right. You tell me what you think. The color just didn't go with my bedroom in my opinion, so I ordered a different type of curtains from Amazon. I think I paid about the same price as I did for my orange curtains, about $40 altogether. So, but my window is huge in the bedroom and these curtains were a little too small as beautiful as they were. So I went to return them back to Amazon and on my way back home I stopped at Walmart to pick out my curtains myself this time. Each of the curtains we have tried so far, including these ones we're gonna pick right now, all of them are gonna turn out about $40 each. So I picked cream color and I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter, but you'll see how it looks. And I picked two times two panels, so four panels all together because our window is huge. Although the price said $15, it was actually 17 something, so all together it was again $40. It looks okay. It's a little bit brown. I was hoping to get used to it. I spent two days looking at these curtains. I took them off and went back to Walmart and switched them for the ivory color. <laughs> now I am happy. I should have picked this color in the first place and we are ready for the, all the befores and afters for this project. I am in love with this nice warm and calm look of my bedroom now and I'm gonna show you everything from the beginning this is our messy bedroom where we started with the gray curtains then this is our clean bedroom with the same gray curtains these are the cream curtains I got from Walmart the first time And these are the ivory, just like everything else is in this room now. And again, a bunch of befores and then the afters. Thank you so much for stopping by today guys, I enjoy your company every time, I really like your likes and comments and I hope to hear from you and see you next time, thank you.
can spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Shut the lights, go 